Welcome back to a story worth telling. Yes. Well, welcome if you're new. Exciting. Only joy awaits. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the new awesome. slogan? Only, Only joy, joy awaits. Back with Heartbreak High. Um, and uh, things have gotten a bit cray cray. Oh no, it ended with Darren, not Darren, Cash going like, them? Oh yes, and them. he absolutely did pick Darren and his grandmother. Yeah. No, he absolutely did. I don't think he did. No, he absolutely did. I know. You didn't see him make the choice, so you don't know. And we still don't know what's going to happen by the end, because apparently there's a big old fire and it turns into the movie Carrie. Oh, so yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> if you're enjoying, you can check out the whole playlist, and you can check out the season one playlist as well. Yes. Uh, and do head on over to our um, official merch shop, where you can buy loads of like stuff that's really cool, including a potential new Heartbreak and High-inspired merch. Uh, spoilers. Spoilers. I was just Spoilers. saying potential. If you say potential, people don't think it could be. That's literally what potential means. Could be. Yeah, but, not, but not quite. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lads, lads, lads. I don't think I've ever shoveled anything in my life. Apart from the shit out of my mouth. Write it down, because today, lads, is all about... Burying their feelings. feelings. They're literally burying their feelings. Just the worst. No, you know... Just the worst. No, do not endorse burying feelings. No, however, you know, there is... There is something to be said about, you know, writing your feelings down, and something very therapeutic about, you know, burning them over a candle, or, like, burying them in the ground. You know, it's the act of writing down your feelings and then letting them go that's like, that's actually quite good messaging, I would say. Kind of. Not the, let's bury our feelings deep down inside of us and not let them out. This is more like the standard, men don't feel anything, bury, 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 and then at later life it'll fucking explode into some form of ang anger and violence and shit like that, and which is the problem. Yeah, could come either way. <laughs> it could be either or. Look, I've considered your request, and I'm sorry, but I, I can't let you back. I have a duty of care to the other students, and Hartley High has to be a, a safe space for everyone. Cash, I think you should fight for this, hun. I do get what she means, though. Like, because it could be triggering for some students, they may feel so what did he say exactly? unsafe. He's not wrong. No, he's not. He's not. And that is the heart. I think the problem here is is Tons like the same brush kind of thing yeah it's like it's 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 an issue with people who haven't done things wrong and get accused of, of things and unfortunately have to face that the the problems they face later on and like you can't like i i would kind of agree with her like even though he's not done anything wrong for the safety of like other students who may feel like because the information's out there. Like, if it, if it hadn't been spread around the school, maybe. But, of course, everyone's going to know about it. Mm. For students who might feel, like, vulnerable, to to then be like, we're letting someone who was accused of something back in. Like, you do have to... Like, there's no easy way of doing it. It's not fair. This is not easy, no. I just read about some guy who showed up at my work. We talked all night, hit it off, but now he's kind of acting weird with me. Mm. Malachi, I'm kidding. It's chill. I feel like, at this stage, actually, Malachi could do well to maybe talk to someone outside of the, the group, mm -hmm. you know, and get like, a, get, like, a second opinion on... Someone that he might think is a good person to go to about, like, certain like things. Like, trusts and... Yeah. yeah. So, um, I've actually... I, I've got to go, so... All right. Um... See you later then. Yeah. Casually. Or not. Either. Oh no. Hum. She's not handling this well. No, you need to stop. Oh. Yeah, but. He did. Okay. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad he made the right choice. Oh, I love how coupley they are already. He's making me so happy. However. Oh no. You there was, do. I think, in the first season, uh, an issue around intimacy between them. Yes. Which we haven't really addressed yet. No. So yeah. I'm waiting for that, because yeah. that is going to probably come up again. Sorry for making you feel like I didn't trust you. That was a moment of pure insanity. Came back. It's the only thing that matters. You better make yourself useful around here, then, eh? 
The garden's bloody desperate for a prune, and that bush out the front, <laughs> it's even wilder than mine. Jesus. Oh my God. I need me privacy. Oh. 15. I've got 30 on Miss Betty, and I'm feeling lucky. Uh, well, keep that up, and you can forget getting any from me, much less the horses. Right. She is <clears throat> filth. She's getting more action than the fucking students. And you. And... <gasps> Yo! Yeah! The Sydney Interalta East Women's Association Pitch Day is an annual tradition. I'm talking points. Historically, the party that raises the most amount of money goes on to win the election. Hang on, so they'll just give us money? I don't think I can run a campaign. No. Do you want to shade me anymore? I'd hire you as a press officer, though. I think that'd be hilarious. A press officer? Yeah. I think that would be truly okay. hysterical. Is that the one who always, like, is like, Good morning! Today! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Performing. Yeah. Oh, are you okay? Come on. This is all just new to me. I, it, I'm not against it or I'm anything. I'm not against it either. You should know that, uh, Amory and me, we're, we're not together. But we're also not, not together. Well, I, I don't really want to get caught in the middle of anything, so. No, that's fair, yeah. I mean, I'm still, I'm, I'm trying to figure Aaron's out. really out, into this. But you're not there yet. Oh. Yeah, but you know what? <clears throat> the amount of fuckery these kids get into, that was a very constructive conversation for two characters in this show. It was very open and honest. Yes. It was like, it's not you. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> it's Amory. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Rowan's. This is tricky for him because he's like, you know, he's. I guess he's out. Is he out? Kind I don't bit? know. He's but not, even not for him out. to be like, I don't want to get in the middle of things. Like I would not be that clever when I was younger. I would just be like, oh, pick me. Yeah, a little bit. But he's got, I think he's got to make a choice now. We've talked about this before. We're people, still not that clever. <laughs> people being at, like, different levels in their journey. Mm. And at this stage, I guess Rowan's got to make a choice. Like, do I kind of stick around and wait to see what happens? Or do I move on to something else and explore that? Yeah. Where it's more kind of at my pace and my level. And also Malachi being like, you know, he didn't necessarily have to tell them that he was, like, you no, know, doing true. things. But he was very honest. He's like, look, this is... I just think well, that's Malachi's very... Well, Malachi's the best person at school, let's be honest. Yeah, I just don't... It... I, I think it's nice to think now that kids in school nowadays would be able to have these kind of conversations because of, like, the level of education they're getting, whether or not they're getting their own form of sluts, you know? They're not having these conversations. Well, no, maybe they are I mean, bollocks. I wasn't when I was that age. Exactly. I was like, I like you! And, and, uh -huh. and you know... Or you would just, say nothing. Or you, you would say nothing. I just think that's, like, a really... I think... But, but I think... <laughs> okay, that's... Psychopath. Work for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get and I could really use the money. Emory, I'm sure you'll figure out how to use your usual charm. Yeah, off you go and mingle. I'm an ex-Hartley girl and I don't want to know about the broken soap dispensers. I want the goss. I want to know what hairdresser Ooh. you go to, love, because that is a great mm. swish. You must have a driveway full of heartbroken teenage <laughs> boys. Let me know if you ever need them shoveled. <gasps> There's a category for that. That's like a knife through the heart. <laughs> Fuck this. If he wants to play dirty, I'll play dirty. What were you saying earlier, Spider, that you'd, um, oh, mop the floor with milf juice? <gasps> oh. That is a bit naughty. I mean, it's every man for themselves in this campaign. Oh, yes. Oh, give me some Bronsky beat. Yeah. Get my <laughs> I love everything yeah, about fun. this right now. This is very meta as well, because I don't know if you know, but like this song in the 80s, in the music video is, is very much about like young gay man running away from home, figuring shit out. Really? Yeah. So it's so many levels of gay right now. Uh, I love it. This is not the first time this season that they've done something like this. They did like the, the film noir. Yeah, uh, that's true. Quinny cut. And Malachi spent hours locked in a room with it oh. and then you two try to have sex but it does happen what are you trying to say malachi could be gay <laughs> no um malachi is not gay 
I think I would know if he was gay. We've slept together. <laughs> oh no. All right, her gaydar was strong then, I guess. I mean, that woman knew her fucking shit. Was that a hot dog? <laughs> he, he was choosing between a stuffed taco and a hot dog. Everything is all imagery at the minute. I know which one I would choose. Hot dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that taco is really stuffed. I'd put the hot dog in the taco. Oh! I mean, I would just grab a sausage. <laughs> Is that like a new cum lord ritual, or are you not okay? I Let, said... Let's speak to a friend. I said... Here we go. And the best person to speak to would be Darren. Yeah, that's true. There's like... It's like a code, right? Like, you don't out someone if they're queer. Oh, you mean the being a decent person code? <laughs> yes. I think... I might like Rowan. Oh my god, I knew it, sorry. <laughs> Cut me off right now before I make a whole stick joke, because mm, that boy, place. sorry, yes, I, I am with you, <laughs> I'm here for you on your journey. Literally everyone is queer now. I know that doesn't make things easy, and I'm proud of you. Finally got everything sorted with Amory and I just, I don't want to hurt her. You can't hide who you are to protect other people. What if she hates me for it? If you have to hide something this important from her, what does that say? Oh, that was so beautifully that written. That was a good one. Oh, There's everything about that I loved. Oh, I don't know, there were a few moments in there where I was a bit like, no, but I know the moment you're talking about when Darren got a bit like kind of funny about it. A bit like OTT. But to like... me, that is the birth, the perfect kind of balance of how you want to be receptive to people speaking about something serious. It's like, it's a, it's, a, it's the way in which you make people feel comfortable. There's a bit of humor to it. And then mm. there's a bit of seriousness to it. There's a bit of mockery, but also a bit of like, Reminding someone that they're in a safe space and it's okay. And like every, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but like it's the kind of conversation you want. Everything about that was just so well done. It would make, if I was, if I was Malachi in that situation, I, it would make me feel comfortable to have that kind of conversation. I liked that the, the focus clearly in that conversation was not on labels. Like Malachi said, Oh, I'm starting to feel like I like Rowan. Like, and then uh, the response from Darren was like, "Everyone's queer." Like, yeah. the, the focus is on like just not the yeah. not the traditional like boy and girl thing, rather than like I'm gay or I'm not gay. I'm confused. Or I'm gay or not. It's like confused about hurting people or like you know his relationships rather than like his identity. Even hearing. Darren be like, yeah, she's my best friend. And I don't want to have to do this to her. But like, it is about you. You don't sacrifice you. That is a really important thing. I think a lot of people get scared about these things because they like, you know, you don't want to tell one person because they might hurt their feelings or whatever, especially if you're in that kind of situation. Mm. But it's like, it's about you. There is a bit of a code there. Absolutely. Darren was like, oh, it's about being a decent human being, obviously. But I think queer people, especially in our community, we do understand it as a kind of secret code because we all understand how important it is to be respectful of someone else's journey. Yeah, that was so beautiful. Good scene. But top or bottom, seriously. Man, it's bottom. Because he picked a hot dog. Well, what would it be if he picked the fucking stuffed taco? Oh, I guess so. And what'd you put in a hot dog? Toppings. <laughs> What if this means that I'm the experiment? Well, what's what if I <laughs> mean, oh, no. is my existence queer erasure? You sure you'll back my campaign? I would. Yes, I would. But I'm broke, so I just... Well, let's see here for the bubbly. Don't let me call Jurassic. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> That's me at 40, isn't it? <laughs> I want to hold myself and other young men accountable. And I want to be a better man. We can do it. 
but we need your help. I mean, there's no alternative. Don't fucking clap. Useless, none of them are his. Useless? Do you know how many people I'm gonna rule out tonight? Obtaining evidence without a warrant is ethically shaky, but the fact that I'm using it to eliminate and not convict? No, I Amory, mean, no, it's like reading someone's diary. Oh no, love. I'm sorry about what happened that night. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a coward. I should have stopped them from putting you in the car. I, I should have kicked the windows out. I don't blame you. I've never blamed you, but I'm not gonna help you feel better about it. Because it sucked. I already asked Woodsy if I could come back and she said no, all right? That's bullshit. No, 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 I, I, I get it, it's all shit. You know, like, safe space and all that. Darren, did you do fry your G-string? <laughs> Oh, I'm glad that conversation happened. I think that was really healthy as well, like... You know, this might come as a shock hmm. to you, but I care about you kids. It keeps me up at night. The thought of one of you slipping through the cracks on my watch. What about Cash? I know he's made some shitty decisions, but if you let him slip through the cracks, he's gonna make more. What if something starts Dude. as a fantasy and then all you can do is think about it? And then all you can do is just She's think about it until it's something that I never, ever, ever want to think about again. But just because you have a thought about something doesn't mean you have to act on it. But also, sometimes it's worth exploring <clears throat> why you feel ashamed. And acting a fantasy can be healthy, as long as it's consensual, legal, and no one's getting hurt. I think, I think sometimes kink shaming is a little bit of a thing, especially in our community. Actually, no, I disagree actually myself there, because I think we're, we're a lot more open in the queer community about... Sorry, I am here, aren't I? <laughs> Just doing a one-man show over there. I don't need you. Christ. There's a part of being in our community, and we are a little bit more like, just generally kinkier, open about kink. But that doesn't mean everyone necessarily has yeah, to feel I don't, the same. I don't need to like licking toes to be a homosexual. I think it's always good to have an open mind, especially about like, other people, even just listening to other people. But I have heard you like, you know, <clears throat> you get quite... <clears throat> <laughs> well, I, yeah, I think I am to a certain degree. I personally believe that kinks can sometimes go too far and actually maybe it's not healthy. Even if it's consensual, might not be for the best, you know? There's a few stories that I've heard where you're a bit like, what the actual fuck is going on there? <laughs> what, from me? No, not from Okay. <laughs> I think it's a testament to our community for being very explorative in our sexualities. Yeah, that that's great. we can, you know, we can go there, say we got the t-shirt, and then we can also say, I might not buy that t-shirt yeah. again. <laughs> got a t-shirt, get the, get the, the wrist tattoos. <laughs> Love those, don't we, our community? I wonder why. But also you could like, you know, get the t-shirt and be like, I want the t-shirt again. I'm gonna get the hoodie, I'm yeah. gonna get the full merch set. Maybe there's even a fat. But Josh would just be the person that you'd be like, he's like, I don't, I don't, you know what? Keep them in a closet because I don't want to see those t-shirts. I'll tell you what it is. I'm too prudish to try some things. I think that's it. There, there, are, there are many things that I will never try and I will die happy having never tried them. Will you though? Because you yes. could have a bucket list. Yes. You might get to your deathbed no. and then suddenly go, no. <gasps> I eat broccoli. No, I, mean, like, I need to try all this shit. <laughs> calling me inadventurous. I don't like broccoli. because you it... ate a vegetable. <laughs> no. I tr I've tried them all though. I have tried them all. <laughs> you tried them all? I've tried them all. That's fair. Yeah. I know I, what I don't like. Whereas can we, can we you have will some get exotic vegetables listed below. I want to take this to the. You extreme. will get to like eighty five, and then I feel like you might be like, <clears throat> I've never tried. F <laughs> Just having no ad laser around the way. He's really fucking with my business. It's time that you come back to where you belong, Cashy. We are a shit fucking creep. <laughs> Leave him alone, Michael Cooper. Seriously, after all these years, can you think of nothing better to do with your time? That's not my name! Oh, isn't it? Oh, I'm Stop, sorry. Bitch. Whoops. Fucking get him. Woo. I stan her. She is so good. She is like This season, ups. she is yeah. like... It's like last season, she was like, no, what? I've done too little. And no then this season, nonsense. she's like... Yay. What are you doing here? 
Well, uh, my next class is chemistry, so. Love. Stop. Who did it? Sorry, excuse me. Oh shit. Third psycho. All right, come on, fetch <laughs> up. Who was it? Who did it? Betrayed by my. T Interesting. So it wasn't his that was like, forget Amory. Or he, or maybe that was Rowan's and he knew it was Rowan's. So he hit it. Oh yeah. Do you know what I don't like? Every time there's like something shocking, instead of the teachers going like 10 minutes before to clear up the mess, they like bring the whole school to watch. <laughs> like it's a fucking circus. Like, yeah, it's a bit, yeah, is there no the like the forward thinking about the adults oh. in this school? Look who's responsible. No, 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 no. I, I wasn't me, I swear. Right, explain this then. Okay, why would I leave a photo of myself doing the crime at the crime scene? Are you gay? Is, is that why you're trying to forget me? For wow. fuck's sake, I just... I just needed some space to figure out my own shit. Okay, I know I'm supposed to wait until you're ready, but if you're gay, then what does that make me? <laughs> me, me, me. I mean, you can't help make everything about yourself, can you? And no, I'm not. I'm not gay. I'm bi. And as much as I love Amory, she's such a like troubled. She doesn't well, know stuff. She, it I, is a bit me, 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 and it's like not about you, honey. But to be fair, I think she probably does suffer from anxiety. Like the not the oh, not absolutely. knowing. Is but she's an not... unlikable protagonist in the fact that because she's clearly suffering anxiety, she's not <laughs> coping with it very well. Savage. If I ever get she labelled is. as an She's an un well, she is. Unlikable protagonist. She's an protagonist. unlikable protagonist. Because, well, you like her sometimes, but other times you're like, like that whole situation made me uncomfortable. Yeah, I was like, stop, yeah, yeah. stop. I was definitely wrong. People that don't like each other would never usually walk that close together. <laughs> Plus, it's inconvenient because when you... Quinny, <laughs> Quinny, love you girl, but nah. Unless... Unless there's mutual sexual desire. Crazy. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Focused. Yes. Okay, but... Oh, oh. Thousand percent. Do we need a fan? I think we need a fan. Oh, I think we need a fan. I don't. I don't, I don't yeah, know. Get a fan. Ah! Wait, wait. <laughs> oh no, I'm dropping. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> oh, oh my God! Right, straight in. It's a bit, it's a bit lusty, isn't it? Okay. 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 You didn't need to run to each base. I think they did. <sighs> bam, bam. Thank you, Rowan. Like I didn't go. I, I did kiss the first time and then worked up. The next time, I wouldn't go balls deep. Wrong choice of words there. <sighs> yes. <Yeah>. Stop. <laughs> That's you a good what? episode. I'm enjoying this season a lot more than season one. Yeah, but I really is am. that I because very good. there's a little bit more exploratory exploration in things that we can identify with more? Because I think that's probably it. I think so. Yeah, probably. And that's okay, because that's the point of like what we do, because we're talking about representation, but like also stuff that we necessarily wouldn't be able to comment on as much. And, like, But I think this season is a lot more like, ah, oh, yeah. There was a lot of darkness about season one as well, though. There with, was. With the story. But interesting, maybe a lot of like, you know, women could identify with season yeah, one more yeah, than season true, two. So true. like... It's true. Whenever Malachi <laughs> is ready for a guy. Mm. Oh, oh, Warrior, oh. come on over. Okay. <laughs> anyway, if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next see you time. See you very soon. Bye. Bye.